We're in Mapua, Tasman. There's a full moon behind those clouds tonight. Today I'm taking the boat out with my new outboard motor. Six horse, nice wee Mercury, or four stroke, and we've got Cora with us. Hey guys, welcome to another clip. Uh, the Maori calendar says that uh, today is a bad day for growing and a bad day for fishing, but Cora saw some little fish jumping before, which is a good sign, eh, mate? Yeah, it's hopeful. Uh, I met Cora through her, or well, her dad follows the channel down in uh, Invercargill. What's your dad's name? Tony. G'day, Tony. First time taking your daughter out, mate. She says you love fishing. Man, you're in the wrong place. You're living in Invercargill. It's shit down there. Well, when I lived down there, I didn't catch much. I live in Tiana, and we used to catch a lot going into the sounds, but not around here, yeah, Tiana. Anyway, we're probably not going to catch much either, because like I said, the uh, Maori calendar says it's pretty crap. Those uh, shags over there are catching lots of small fish. I'm reckoning you saw a shag chase one, eh? But you reckon, no? Nah. All right, okay. Well, see how we go. We'll stop the yakking. Oh, I've got the new ninja rod. Thanks very much, Chris Wong. Hopefully, I don't snap this one. Uh, I think it's from Jigstar. I think that's who it's from. If not, I'm not sure. Actually, I'll check it now. Yeah, it's Jigstar, right? I don't know why Chris keeps giving to me. Cora just said to me, did you snap one? And I said, no, I snapped two. You think they would know by now, wouldn't give me another one, eh, mate? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks to uh, Fishing with David and Ozzy. He gave me this reel. Well, actually, this is not for me. This is my son. I'm just borrowing it. Because uh, it's, it's the only decent egg beater I've sort of got. I do have a nice Maxwell reel, but for casting off the boat, this is going to be good. And just one of these things is all you need for catching cow. It's a bit rusty, this one. Probably could have uh, put something a bit fresher on, but... We'll be right, so we'll see where we go. So nice with the wee four stroke, real quiet. That's all you need. See where I spared him? Get there. There you go. Nice flounder. There you go, buddy. You okay? Way to go. That's the first flounder. Sweet. What do you reckon? We'll put him in this bin here. Yeah, that's good, eh? Hey, buddy. How's it going? He's a beauty, isn't he? You're a weirdo. He's probably looking at you thinking the same thing. Have you seen flounder before? Yeah, yeah. We, um. We got given some by a skipper down in um, in Bacargo when we were trying to catch something. Yeah, right, eh? <laughs> Is that your first time floundering like this? Yes, yes. You enjoy that? Definitely. Holy crap. It's cool. Um, it's probably going to die anyway. Okay, we'll put them in here. Okay, that's his uh, spear. Nice. Cora's just spotted one. It's a nice one too. Nice, keep your light on it, mate. Yeah. Well done. I couldn't see it, so I hope I got it. I think so. Got it. Yeah. There we go. Beauty. Yeah. Beauty, mate. Well done, buddy. I'm going to pull you right. Yeah. Mind your fingers there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a good size one. I reckon it's the one you saw before. That's a cracker. That's an absolute cracker, mate. We're good. Cool. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a beauty. <laughs> Hell yeah. What do you reckon? That's good. He's slimy as. <laughs> ah, come on. Stop being girly. We're out fishing, mate. Hey, I'd rather be shat on than working in an office, alright? Yeah, yeah. He isn't shat on you anyway.
we watched that video that you put up on the um, Rotate channel. Bird shit. Yep. Yeah, get that bird shit off, I don't like that with my uh, porridge. Yep. <laughs> you take some for yourself, mate. There's plenty there. This morning, Cora and I, we're going to actually harvest all of the yams. They say you harvest on your first frost. We've had that already. What do you got these tiny wee ones? You can cook those up, eh, mate? Yeah, that's us say why not. It's a wee sweet little yam. You'd eat that with a roasted bit of uh, flounder, wouldn't you? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mate, look at the size of that one. Whoa. That's a beauty. <laughs> they look like yellow turds. <laughs> I hope they don't taste like them. Nice big fat worm. Mm. Well, he's chopped in half, he's a deer worm now. Okay. Yeah, we're going to replace all the soil and put something else in. It's always a bit harder making a fire when it's raining. This here is uh, from the Magic Cottage. If you want to buy them online or see how they're made at least, um, just go and look at uh, Magical Cottage on my YouTube channel, search that. Inside we've got three little baby pine cones. They are drenched in beeswax, and this cloth on the outside is also drenched in beeswax. And this is a uh, great thing for getting a fire going in the bush, or just at home if you want to have a quick fire. It's guaranteed of uh, staying a, a light long enough for your kindling to actually burn. It burns for quite a while. And uh, as you can see, I've got just only a tiny little bit of uh, kindling on this, be enough. And I've also got water where I'm lighting the fire, so that'll do. That'll work. Oops. Nearly just about didn't get it. Turns away. The rain's coming down now too. It's a good time to put a piece of wood over the top to get the rain off it like this. When I smother, I just want them to breathe. She's away. She's away. She's gone. Lovely. Nice girl, mate. Nothing left in there. Nothing left in here? Bloody good. Well, I reckon we had a bit of maybe some sheep poo. Chicken poo, some seaweed, duck poo. I'll sort us out of the chicken house as well into this, and then we can replant something in it again. Yeah, maybe yams again, not sure. You don't need to get all the dirt out, just enough so we can uh, work with it. Done a good job, mate. Bit yeah. more no, I reckon it's all right, eh? Yeah. yeah, just flatten it out, and we'll mix some stuff into this. And yeah, we'll do the red yams next. Good gun. We've eaten actually a lot of these jams already, so that's what we've got left. That's all right, eh? Yep. Oh, you got some more there too. Oh, beauty. Got the ones from down that way. Nice. Nice. What do you prefer, mate? The red ones or the yellow ones? Doesn't matter. Makes no difference, does it? They just look different. 
There's also apricot ones here too. Doesn't really matter if I mix up. Tiny wee baby ones, eh? Mm. I'd probably plant those as seeds. Like to grow yams again, couldn't you? You probably won't need to. There's probably heaps riddled throughout the dirt anyway. Right. So we use this as a yam pit. Yeah, true that. I did actually plant these, but I reckon it would help to have those in there. Mm. Yeah, these tiny wee ones, they'll grow, won't they? Yeah. We just pop those back in. This could be the yam, yam pit once we put some uh, stuff in the soil. Mm. Cool. Just saying there's some, some holes in it. There's a bloody hole down. It's a, it's a rat hole, mate. Yeah, for sure. They've been living in here. Mm. Well, there's a few more yams to go. And you're not scared of rats, are you? No, not at all. Tough as. <laughs> right, right person on the job. Good on you. Oh, well, let us know if you have a squeak. I reckon they could be down there. Yes, Make sure you smack him with a spade if you do. Oh, yeah. Pace will finish him off for you. Why don't you pace, eh? Oh, good. Beautiful. Yeah, mate. They're good. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Good dog. Not for you dogs, okay? So that's all our seeds, for growing the seeds. Mm -hmm. Nice mate. Oh, this is a lot, because we've actually been eating quite a few of these, so that's, that's a lot left over, nice. Stick it on our veggies. Right. Yeah. That's, that's enough, yeah, it's yeah, heaps. Enough. Some hedge clippings for our veggies. Nice. Yeah, that'd be enough, yeah. Good. And that is why my jacket has white hair on it all the time. He's always got to sit on that. Okay, mate, you tell me if I'm putting too much in. Oh, I'll bring the potatoes, you can put them in the pan too, bud. Put some cumin seed on there. A bit of paprika, a bit of ginger. Put them on top? No, I'll just do these first, a bit of turmeric. You don't want too much chilli, do you? Okay, there's a bit of chilli there and a bit of ginger. Right, you can pile some veggies on top of that, mate. Yeah, tear into it. Okay. Nice, nice. Some paprika. Good. You put the hole on, buddy. Yep. Those kuma around the outside, that'll be good. Doesn't it? Doesn't matter if though. Yeah, top up that side up. That's just one. Yeah, that's no, cool. No, I'm gonna put the lid on in a minute. That's good. Oh yeah. Yep. Good job. Uh, can you sprinkle those other herbs that are chopped up on top too? A little bit of salt. Sprinkle them on the veggies. Come down close. That's the one nice going. So, the garlic's the only powder that seems to always go hard in the packet, eh? The rest are good. Yeah. It always seems to, and that's why I think fresh is better. It's just convenient. Well, you can grab that lid and smack it on top, mate, while I'm doing this. That's our veggies. We'll let them roast for a bit. Smack it on. It'll be good. Wake it on. Awesome. Nice job. Oops, wrong side. He's going to have some uh, hedge clippings on him now from <laughs> right. all the stuff we've done, but it'll add flavour. That's alright. So, there's a, uh, a soft side with the gutters. The top, obviously, is the head, the back. So when you turn it over, the soft side's the gut. So that there, you know, is the gut down there. <laughs> 
stick your finger in there and just scoop the guts out and there she goes. It's pretty easy, eh? Yeah. Straightforward. Not really any rocket science. I got a bit of dirt in my finger from harvesting yams out of the garden, so uh, that'll add a bit of flavour for you when you're chomping on it. Those glitchy bits. Well, there we go. I bet guys that do this professionally in a factory going, geez, Clay, you made a dog's breakfast out of that. You could have done that better. But, uh, that's most of it anyway. You were right. There might be a bit of um, stuff up in there. No, she's all right. You don't have to worry about um, doing anything else. They can go straight in the pan. It's already got the uh, added hedge clippings on it for flavour. So they come up to the estuary. I'll just open it and go like this. I'd say there's going to be little crustaceans in there. Check out that there. Oh, that looks like a little bit of a crab, is it? Mm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's definitely... Um, oh, it's bits of shell, look. See that? Little bits of shell. What do you reckon? Broken crab or... Hard to tell, really, isn't it? Mm. You see what that is? We'll take some stuff out of this one here. There it goes. Yeah, that's a crab. That's a crab? Yeah, so they eat crabs, eh? Yeah, there's a crab pincher, eh? Yeah. Definitely crabs. So they feed on crabs up in there. Oh. Well, I thought that's what they feed on. Because they're always over those little crab holes. Right, oh, this is going to be Damo's fish. This one here. It's a bigger one. This is the one you spotted last night when you were fishing. There you go, mate. Tear into it. Let's see what you can do. Is this the first flounder you've ever done? Uh, a gutting, yes. Oh, well. First time for everything. Oh, you got it. So easy, isn't it? Yeah. Piece of cake. Cool. Good job. The dogs are very interested in it. I'll give the stuff to the chickens as guts. They can have that. Ladies, fresh guts. Thought you'd like it. Tear into it. That's going to give a nice fishy tang to our eggs, isn't it? Mm hmm. Don't be fussy. Eat up. Well, here they all come now. Little dinosaurs, vultures. Pose like hanging around in case there's going to be some food involved in this for her. It's going to enable the spices and everything. To get down into the flesh, and you're going to get these nice little squares that are going to come off. So that's one way, and it's this way here. That's what's called diamond squaring. You get those nice little diamonds. This knife is really for a touch up, I think. Shouldn't really be running it across bones. It's more of a vegetable knife. And then you don't want too much um, chili, do you? Pink Himalayan salt, great on fish, great. And rub that in. And here's the garlic that's gone a wee bit uh, sort of chunky in the packet. Really nice on flounder garlic. Being a fresh fish, this is nothing like a supermarket one. And I'm going to put a wee bit of smoked pat reef on there. Just like that. Done. Now, check out our roast vegetables. Oh, looking good. Looking really good. Mm -mm. I reckon they're done. What do you reckon, Cora? Yeah, mate, look at that. Yeah, they look done to me. Yeah, we'll do some greens, but what we'll do is we'll get the, uh, get the flounder going. Nice. That's hot. That's the lid of the camp oven. We can cook your flounder on that, mate. Avocado oil. Thanks, Glenn. Oh, Gunny gave me that one there. Get that smoke in and smack the flounder on. I didn't plant these that long ago and we've already got cabbages. And our broccolis are starting to come through too. That one there's not bad. I don't seem to be able to grow them like they are in the uh, supermarkets, eh? This uh, pak choy has been giving and giving and giving. I'm just like harvesting the bottom leaves all the time. And they just keeps on growing more at the top. And it's actually a really high nutrition uh, food, this high nutrition. It's good. It's not up there with kale, but it tastes a damn sight better than kale. They call kale ass food because it tastes like ass. These have been really good value. And this net just ensured that the sparrows haven't thrashed it. Eventually we'll have a whole net over this garden, is the idea. Good. The black fantail's having a fight, it's chasing the other one out of its territory, see that? This guy here? 
It's a black fantail, he's like a little scrapper. This is uh, sorrel, this is a good one for you to grow Cora. Because it just uh, keeps on giving and giving. You can eat it just like it is too mate. Just like that, you don't have to cook it. It's not like, um, uh, say, kale or uh, some of those other ones that you've got to do something with. This is just, you can eat it like that. Um, do you want to try a bit? Yeah, sure. Yeah, try that one there. And tell me if you're tasting it like it before. This is how you're breaking your fast because you haven't eaten since last night, have you? It's three o'clock. Have you tasted that taste before? No. No, right. It's a different day. Eh? Mm. Do you like it or not? Not bad. Not bad, eh? Yeah, I wouldn't rate it high, but it's quite easy to put in stuff. No, you're not getting your mate. No, no. The old silver beets have got thrashed by the birds. Or is that there something else? Is that sparrows or what? They're going, going hard on all of them. Yeah, got some spring onions coming up nicely, though, looking good. Might actually grab a bit of spring onion, because this is just adds a bit of zing to the flavour of everything, doesn't it? Yeah, these are a nice one. Good thing about these is they keep on growing when you pick them. Now, when you put it in the pan, lay it away from yourself so you're not splattering yourself. It's got a big long hair. Is that a, is that a uh, corner here on there? Yes, probably. Lay it in the pan, mate, but lay it away from yourself so you're not burning yourself. That's away, nicely. Yep, just there. No, 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 okay. That's, yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah, yeah. You can get away with that outside here, but in my kitchen you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> two minutes. Yep. Two minutes. You don't want to do too much, mate. We want to get it just slightly done. And we're only going to turn that twice. That's perfect. Nice. Two minutes on that side. There's the row in there. Delicious, the row. You don't like it? Screw your face up. We're going to do some greens in this here. I'll put it over the other way so you can watch his eyes when you're eating it. You can see ya. Oh yeah, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I think you're going to enjoy this, mate. <laughs> we'll rest it there for just a couple of minutes. That'll still keep on cooking a little bit. Jeez, the old bok choy's uh, gone down a bit. I put some of those wee tomatoes in the other glass house. And we've got some of that. Right, let's turn it up. Nice one. Got to get the crunchy skin back. Mm. Yeah, rate it. That's good. You rate it? Yep. Right, 10 you, out of 10, we'll do again. 10 out of 10. I'll let you eat as much as you want. Mm. I really enjoyed going floundering, eh? Yeah. Uh, sound like Damo coming now? He's got no muffler on his car, eh? Oh, yeah, probably then. Either that or it's a That's some, eh? He's come right at the right time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah here he comes. Yep. Oh, he shut up at the right time, didn't he? <laughs> Get on pace! Get on pace! Well, you showed up at the right time, didn't you? There's one in the chilli bin, mate. Grab it and bang it straight in the pan. Damo's not scared of a bit of spice, are you, mate? Nah, I've already smashed a curry back today as well. Have you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that, just for the goodness. You want that salt on there, bro, for that to get the skin to crackle up? Yeah. So you'll do it skin side first and then the other side? Yeah. Just means it stays together better. Nice. That's ready to turn, mate. Just oh. good to go. Sit down, Pace, you're not getting any. Oh. Ooh. -hoo. Yeah, get the uh, skirt's not going to play ball. <laughs> yeah, the old tongs, they go. That was, that was my stubbornness coming out. Yeah, I saw that. You weren't going to do what I, I said. There you go. Yeah. You got it in the end anyway. She looks good, eh? Yeah, delicious. No, I was in my own head. I wasn't really listening to you. Oh, yeah. In my own head, I was like, I was like, nah, I'm just going to flip it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not a pancake, bro. It's a fish that you've diamond scored. It'll fall to bits if you flip it too much. What's yeah. that going on there? Uh, one of them is... Sage, I think. Ooh, oregano. Nice. We just did some hedge clippings out of the garden. Yeah. That looks good, bud. Well, Pace is eyeing it up. Poe thinks she's getting some, don't you, Poe? Tail wagon. Happy dog. Good girl, Poe. Who is your good girl? That tail never stops, does it, eh? Good girl, Poe. That's a good dog. Can you grab that, please, Cora? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> that ain't gonna work, mate. <laughs> Honestly, mate I thought he could go like that. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Gee, you're a stubborn bugger. Oh, mate, that's a, that's a risk happening. Oh, she wants to go oh bro. Yeah. Well, you know, just... Good on you, Cora. There we go. Oh, lovely, jubbly. Cheers, mate. I was wondering how the mechanics that was going to work with the hand on both sides of that water. <laughs> oh, good belly laugh. You can thank Cora for that one. She spotted that one. Yeah, thank you, Cora. She actually spotted it twice. First time she went out with her light, and then the second time found it again, eh? Yeah. Paces nice. in on the act. You know I love you, but not enough for that. It's not going to happen, Pace. No. Not going to happen, mate. Poe knows the rules. Not going to happen, buddy. Yeah. No, not going to happen. Look oh. your lips. Nah, oh. you dribble as much as you want. You've had bones, possum. Mmm. Said everything. Eggs. Yep, not going to happen. He's a gourmet dog. Yep. He lives off the land. Listen to that nice Californian quail. Wah-oh, wah-oh. How do you rate it, bro? That's going to get demolished. Pace is wagging his tail like he's going to get some. Pace, get out. <laughs> you look like you actually needed that. It's like it's actually really important for you to have that. Yeah. I think it's looking good. That's pretty close, bro. He's hopeful. He is hopeful. It's actually good for him to watch you eat and get nothing. It teaches him that you're the boss. Yeah. Well, you don't give in to that, sort of carry on. Yeah. You might get a scrap when you finish, but dogs need to learn that uh, Damo's the boss of the pack when you're around. So I spared it in the head so all the flesh will be pretty good. Your pose now coming in, going, yep, I can get some of this too. I don't think I've ever seen anybody eat a flounder that fast ever. Bro, you smashed that down so quick. You've already eaten today, aren't you? Uh -huh. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Be good, can't be good, be careful. We've got some dishes to wash now. Hey, leave it. I'm gonna reward them. Yeah, reward them for their goodness. I will. Yeah, they're allowed to eat it. After I eat. The chickens get most of the scraps, the dogs get a wee bit when he's finished. I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna give them that. Oh, the, you're gonna give them row, are you? I beat them the other one. Oh, okay, fair enough. That's a treat. See ya. <laughs>